Hey guys, that's Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how much you actually get from this Rough Country six inch lift kit. Now I made a video a little while ago on you know, how tall the truck was before I got it lifted. So now we're gonna do a comparison on how the truck is sitting now. Quick recap, the truck was three foot and one inch from the bottom of the wheel, bottom of the tire, up to the top of the fender here. We're gonna see how tall the truck is and the truck itself from the middle to the top was six foot two. And now we're gonna see uh, how much that is. So let's go ahead and we have a tape measure right here. Let's go ahead and just measure it out. Um, this was a six inch rough country lift. Now it is a true six inches in the front and I think it's two or three inches in the back. I do have the five inch block in the back. So if you kind of look at it from the, here, it's a bit taller in the back, maybe about a quarter inch. So it has somewhat of a slight rake. Now I don't have the adjustable uh, coilovers. It's just the kit right here, or the spacer. So there's no way to adjust that. Uh, if I have the vertex coilovers, you can actually just raise them up and down up to like seven inches. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at how it is sitting. All right, so from the bottom of the wheel to the top of the wheel well. It's about 45 inches or three foot nine. So it was three foot one before. All right, so that was uh, three feet nine inches or three foot eight inches. That is about seven inches or eight inches taller than the previous. So the previous was 37 inches or three foot one. And now it is 44, 45 inches. So you may do the quick math and be like, well, how's that possible if you raise the six inches from 31 to 37 that would be 37 inches right that's just the lift kit you have to include the tires because they have bigger tires as well so even though you are lifting your truck six inches the tires went from a 32 to a 35 which is a three inch difference from the tires but you're not going to add just three inches on top of your six inch lift because only this mount this part of the tires on the floor the rest is in the air so you would take half of the diameter which would be one and a half. So you really get 7.5 inches of total lift between the lift and the tires. Um, so that is how you got your 37, uh, or I'm sorry, 38 to 39 inches tall. So it may be a six inch lift, but it's actually quite closer to eight inches after you add the lift and the tires. All right, let's go ahead and get the top of the truck here. Is looking at about seven or very close to seven feet. Um, so if you have a seven foot garage, could you fit this truck in your garage? Um, yeah, I mean, technically you could. Uh, it would be very, very close. It'd be a tight fit. Um, but I guess you could, if you had the vertex coilovers and you raised them to the max height, you would not be able to fit them in the garage. You would not be able to fit 37 inch tires. Uh, so just any kind of an extra inch or an inch and a half would be able to not fit in the garage. Eight foot garage, you'll be able to clear all day. But let's go ahead and just check out the back now. From the bottom of the tire. Three foot ten or forty six inches, and to the top, five foot two, five one. So to the top of the tailgate, it's about five one <sighs> or sixty one inches. So this here to the top of that is about. Five one and a half, five two at max. It's kind of hard to tell because I can't really measure it up against the fender. 
because the tire sticks out. And if I overlap the uh, tape measure, it's not gonna get a correct accurate. So I'm just kind of, I'm just literally measuring it from like here and then kind of eyeing it to see how close it is. And so, so yeah, that is a lift in the back of about two inches, two or three inches. And in the front, about six plus the tires, it's closer to seven and a half inches of total height, which is a big, big, big difference. So I'm gonna stand next to the truck so you can kind of see an, kind of an accurate of how it looks. So for reference, I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, uh, and this is my head up to the uh, side mirror here. And as you can see, right here, this is how big. So I'm an average height human. So this is how it looks getting in. All right, so there you guys have it right there. That is how tall this thing is. And like I said, I'm not a tall person. I'm like regular height, about 5'9". And um, you can see like I mean, kind of how tall you have to get or bend your knees to get up on these running boards. Like if you don't have running boards, right? Then you're going up here. And if you have bad knees or you're a lot shorter than me, it's uh, gonna be a little difficult to get into this truck. So I highly recommend you get some running boards if you're gonna lift your truck. But that is how it looks. And like I said, uh, the true lift was a exact six inches from the lift kit itself, plus one and a half inches from the tire because it's a three inch difference from 32 to 35. However, you only measure half of the tire because half of the tire is on the floor. The rest is up in the air, which you can't measure. So that is seven and a half inches. Uh, if I were to went with the Rough Country coilover kit, I can get closer to nine inches of total width because the coilovers are able to be adjusted up to seven point something inches of total height from the Vertex coilovers plus the tires. Now, if you were to go with 37 inch tires and a Rough Country six inch kit, Vertex coilovers, you can get closer to 10 inches of total height because 32s to 37s plus seven point or uh, seven point something on the on the lift kit itself. So it would be a lot taller than this truck is now, but it's kind of hard to judge it on camera. But I mean, just look at this truck compared to the cars and you can kind of get a quick a rough estimate. Here, let me walk over to this side so you can see how the truck looks compared to other cars. It's not, uh, it's not a, uh, as little as you may think it is on camera so that's a regular sedan corolla and then there's my uh f-150 right here so you can see the height difference between them um and i think it looks super sweet i love the mean stance look at the front with the tires poking out just enough where it's not too much where it's just kicking up rocks in my paint but it's nice and aggressive enough where it is have a little bit of poke to it and it uh is really aggressive which without rubbing too so this right here is this is it and uh, if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave a like comment and subscribe i post new videos every wednesday and sunday at 8 p.m and if you're wondering what i've done to just this truck specifically I have a link in the description of every mod done to the truck so far um also some updates that i want to do to the truck is i don't know let me see you guys' opinion on this but i really like the plasti dip here However, it's been two years and it's uh, it's kind of uh, seen better days. The back isn't too bad because no bugs hit it, but if I make my way over to the front, you're kind of able to see that the front is kind of a mess here. Or not really a mess, but it's got some chip marks in it. Right here, you can kind of tell that this blue is coming through and then it's kind of peeling down here from the old plastic dip. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, I don't feel like re redoing the plastic dip. I might get some overlays for the uh, emblems here that you can get off Etsy and just like do a black with like a gloss black. And I think that would uh, that would look pretty well. So um, other than that, the emblems here 
are just regular stock OEM emblems, but I may black those out. Or I may do um, like a, a recon where it's like a, a light up light up badge, which would be pretty cool. I'd actually have to sink that into the battery um, to, or into the fuse box to be able to get power to these lights. I know they have them for the 2011 models to the 2014. They don't have them for the 2015 and up models yet or I don't know if they'll ever make them, but I seen a guy on Etsy, he makes them himself and he actually purchased that. So I might do that. That may be pretty cool to have like a cool, like white uh, glow to the emblems here. And then lastly, uh, some rock lights, a remote start kit. And what's the last one I was gonna do? Remote start, rock lights, and a, uh, oh, I'm not gonna tell you guys. So it's gonna be a surprise when you see it, but it's gonna be, Super cool, but yeah, yeah. Give me um, what do you guys think about the truck so far? Any uh, updates you want me to see? I don't know how I feel about this M these uh this logo anymore. I maybe I'll take it off. I'm not sure if I want the sticker look anymore. I might just take the stickers off. But I don't know. It kind of flows because it's not like too noticeable since it's like a silver. So I don't want it to be like super blingy or anything. Um, but give me an update. What you guys think? And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.